Hi YouTube family, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you three ways to practice checking in with your body and learning the process of listening to your body. So the first one is just becoming more aware. Because of today's society, our minds are always occupied. Whether it's our cell phone that we're looking down at, different stimuli in our environment, constant news stories pulling our emotions and our attention. We are always bombarded with things to keep us distracted. However, when you are in the process of listening to your body, you want to practice awareness specifically awareness of your body. Now, there are some meditation practices such as Yoga Nidra or Vipassana that help you really get in touch with your body on a deeper level. I suggest both of them, but to start out, you can just set an alarm on your phone to go off randomly during the day, and when it goes off, pay attention to the complete energy in your body. Are your shoulders raised? Even if they're not all the way up here, are they here? Are you able to relax them a little more? Have you been holding your breath for an extended period of time? I've noticed that with myself in the past. I have checked in with myself and realized that, why am I holding this breath right now? <laughs> That's something that happens with a lot of us and we're not even aware that we're not taking full, consistent breaths throughout a period of time. Are your legs in a tense position? Could they be more relaxed? And if you do at any point notice a level of tension in your body, pay attention to what you were doing just before then. Did someone say something that was negative and you're holding on to that energy? Are you thinking about a past memory that you haven't let go of? Did you eat something that your body is subliminally not in love with? These are things to consider when you are practicing listening to your body and from there you can make adjustments in your lifestyle and your thought process and your diet accordingly. Number two is don't just rely on generalized knowledge about what is good for your body without being completely honest about how your body is feeling in the moment. So we are living in a time where there are tons of fad diets and nutritional protocols that tell us exactly how to eat on a certain regimen and then there are tons of gurus that have tons of research that explains why these things are right for our body and not just for our body but everyone's body. First of all, everyone's body is different so you do have to be aware of that. Just because something works for someone that you know or for a lot of people does not necessarily mean it's right for your body. With buzzwords like paleo, keto, low carb, but even vegan and vegetarian, flying around, it can be very confusing on what is right for our body and which direction we should choose for optimal wellness. So the first step is to do your research. When you are practicing or planning to practice a different diet or nutritional protocol. But again, there's tons of knowledge and information that backs up each and every one of the popular and powerful diets that are out there. That's when listening to your body comes into play. Your body is your most powerful healer and a completely geniusly designed apparatus. And it is designed not only to heal itself, but to send signals to you to let you know when something's going wrong. However, because of our standard American diet and all of the energetic minutia in the atmosphere, we often become disconnected to the signals that our body are sending to us. One good thing to do to start checking in with your body and practicing listening to your body is to log your food. Log what you're eating on a daily basis and also log your experiences through your days, your weeks, your months, because those things will affect your energy. Specifically with food, if you notice that you've been feeling tired or sluggish, can you look back at the last few days or even weeks of your diet and see what you've been eating. So being on a plant-based vegan diet, we tend to eat a lot of avocado because avocado is a life. It's just a godsend from the heavens. I'm so thankful for avocado. However, I have learned through the practice of listening to my body that I can't eat too much avocado and not just avocado but fat in general. So that did open my eyes to why some people who are raw vegan practice the high carb low fat diet and they proclaim that they experience a lot of energy. 
I can see how that would work only because I have witnessed within my body that when I eat too much avocado or too much fat, I do notice that my energy gets a little sluggish. So pay attention to what you've been eating, not just with fat, with any particular trigger food that you may want to determine whether your body likes it or not. Just pay attention to how your body is feeling first and foremost, and then track back to what you've been eating. From there, if you're still unsure, you can start testing different foods. For instance, if you're feeling tired and sluggish and you've been eating a lot of wheat, but you've also been eating a lot of fat, maybe take your fat out of your diet for a while and keep eating wheat and see if your energy changes. Take both out and see if your energy changes. Then keep eating the fat, but take out the wheat and see if your energy changes and how. And not just your energy, but your body's responses. For instance, if you're eating wheat and you're getting a lot of pimples, maybe there's a correlation. If you stop eating wheat for three months and your skin clears up, maybe there's a correlation. But be aware that when you're testing your body, you do need to test for an extended period of time. If you say, okay, I'm gonna stop eating wheat for a week, Sometimes that weed is really still in your body after a week, especially if you're not going to the bathroom, eliminating waste at least three times a day, then you're probably still holding on to some things. So I would say at least three months is a good time frame to see if your body is reacting negatively to a food. If you take it out for three months or if you add it in for three months, you can kind of get a gauge of how your body feels about it and how it changes your energy, your mood, and any physical reactions in your body. And correspondingly, pay attention to what is happening in your environment. Are you living in a home that may not be safe for you? Do you have a lot of respiratory issues? and is there dampness or potential mold or mildew in your home? Maybe you go on vacation and you notice that you're not having those respiratory issues, but as soon as you get back home, you're noticing them again. That's a sign that there's something in your environment probably. Could be your home, it could be your work environment that is not suitable for your overall wellness. And so that's a situation where you wanna to listen to your body and act accordingly. One of my coworkers in the past, every time she went to the dentist for a cleaning, she would get a cold shortly after. And not just a small cold, a serious cold. So she started to get scared to go to the dentist for a cleaning. And I was like, well, that's, that's kind of weird. I've never gotten a cold after a cleaning. She was telling me because she was a little older that they were doing a deep clean and going deep into her gums. From there, I started asking her some questions and she revealed to me that she had silver fillings in majority of her teeth because she grew up in the 70s and that's what they did and she, I guess, just had really bad teeth as a child. So she had tons of fillings. Silver fillings, I think they're called silver amalgam fillings, have been proven to be very toxic, which is why the dental industry doesn't even use them anymore, at least for the most part. The reason why is because they have mercury and mercury is a very toxic heavy metal and it can wreak havoc in the body. A lot of people these days are getting their silver fillings removed and replacing them with the more modern white fillings. And a lot of times when you do remove those silver fillings, you may potentially get sick because in the process of removing them, some of that mercury is leaked into your body, especially if you don't go to a very trained dentist to do this. I can't say for sure, but I'm going to assume that part of the reason why she gets sick every time she goes to the dentist and gets a deep cleaning is because they're having to brush up and tamper with a lot of those silver fillings that are still in her mouth. And that does leak into the system. You're swallowing and it can make you sick. That's just an example of listening to your body and then when you notice something like this, it may be expensive to fix whatever is necessary to fix, but your body is all you have, really. So you have to pay attention to what is best, what is optimal for your body, and what you can do to change the environment, the food, or the energy so that you can live in an optimal state of wellness. Lastly, pay attention to your energetic environment, to the people around you that are affecting you, the experiences that you are putting yourself in and how those experiences are affecting you. If you know that you work with someone who is very toxic and draining, don't be surprised if you are depressed or you have high anxiety in a month or two after working in that environment because it will affect you. 
the last thing you can do to check in with your body and start listening to your body is to do a simple energy test. I'm going to try to demonstrate one. Okay, so here is a simple energy test you can do to see if your body likes a certain supplement or a certain food. So, this is a ginger supplement that I got in Thailand, so we have both languages going on. But if I wanted to test and see if my body likes ginger, I can do this simple energy test. Take the product and you hold it up about right here to your solar plexus. Take a deep breath and kind of clear your energy. Then hold it out and you're gonna use your dominant hand. I was taught to use my right hand, but I think it would just be your dominant hand in general. But you wanna take the supplement or food and hold it out in the corresponding arm. Then you're gonna ask yourself, is this nourishing and healing for my body? Then place it here, let go of your energy and allow your body to move either forward or backward. If you move forward, then your body likes it. If you fall back, then your body does not like it. This is a simple energy test that I have tried for a few years and I just found it helpful in general and just getting a feel for what's wrong and what's right. There are certain things that I really want, but I'll test it and my body will say no and that will help me just say, okay, let me honor my body and let me not eat this. So I'm gonna do it right now. Let's see what my body is saying about ginger at this moment. And that's another thing to note is that your body may change over time, so you can continue to test things. My body might not want ginger right now. It probably does though, but it may want it later. So let's see what my body is saying. Is this healing and nourishing for my body right now? Do you see how I moved forward? Oh, I'm in a hotel room, so let me, let me go get some snacks that I know my body doesn't want. They have these snacks in the thing where you would get charged a thousand dollars if you ate one. So does my body want famous Amos cookies right now? <sighs> Completely let go. Just let your body fall forward or back once you move the product here. <sighs> Is this healing and nourishing for my body right now? So I slowly started moving back. All right, so those are my three tips to start out the process of learning to listen to your body, to feel into your body, and to guide yourself into making changes that will promote optimal wellness for you in your lifestyle. Definitely also practice yoga, nidra, and vipassana meditation. Different meditation tactics will also help you become more aware in general. Our bodies vibrate 100% of the time every day even when we're sleeping so the more you can tune into those vibrations the more optimal your health and wellness will be i hope this was helpful for you if so please press the like button below give me a good thumbs up leave me a comment and let me know what you thought and subscribe to my channel so i can continue to make more videos like this and i will see you in the next one i'm about to eat my breakfast right now let's see if we like it this healing and nourishing for my body right now? Mm -hmm. All systems go.